Back out with Sam on the Somerset levels, Morning. pushing one of the bigger drains. Finally. It's very weedy because it's uh, only October. Find the fry and you should find the pike. So I'm going to start off using a fulling mill Mohican. Uh, it's a ply that I used to do very well on but don't so much anymore but it's the first one that was in the box so I'm going to grab it. Hey mate, fish on. I've got one on. Yeah. I just moved my float and put it in the and it just started yeah, fogging up the river. There you go. <sighs> Wicked. It's only learned about four pounds, you reckon? Yeah, give me that. So this place is pretty well known by locals. Um, a lot of them have turned their back on it because he got poached to death. Um, a few years back people weren't catching any pike at all but I suppose the consequence of removing a lot of pike is you get a sudden explosion of jacks nature bounces back I had a run just before Charlie hooks his um, I always like to hit runs early um, rather than late so I better pay attention to my float Well, unfortunately, all the weed cutting on the on the drain has prompted us to have to uh, go and fish on the canal. Not huge, but lovely to get a, a, a take on the first few hundred yards. Little mini predator. Put him back.
Talking to Sam, it is wicked because you can see everything that's going on. You just see this fish dart out from underneath the, the rushes. Good fun. It is exceptionally shallow and clear, three foot deep. I can see the bottom almost all the way across. I'm just going to fan a few casts out straight in front of me, then 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and go around. That's the sort of cast that so close that the tendency is to cast really far but you want to start close in like that and work your way around otherwise if you put your first cast in at 45 degree angle you waste all this bank inspection he just doesn't want it oh well <laughs> he's gone that's a shame he's watching that fly for ages the one that's the one I wanted to do if there's a pike down there feeding he should have that but I don't know there is a pike down there feeding if there was I would have spooked it never mind let's chuck one up oh Jesus that made me jump you see that Will <laughs> Got him. Yeah, it's only a little jack. Not on the, not on the fly gear, isn't it, man? No, it's all good. That is crazy. I'm sure that's sufficient. I had to go and have a look at it earlier. <laughs> well done, mate. It's hard. Taking it right down, is he? He has, unfortunately. Thank goodness. It's just a single. Uh... Oh. Hello. Is it, is I recognise you. you. That is. Wow, you superstar. I can't believe you found that. That's so kind. Lost a fish. Yeah, I saw the bend in your rod. Unlucky. Was it? world's most sparsely dressed fly now it's just all been shaved off by pike teeth shame i like that fly i see the black or white when it's crystal clear for me i don't like using leery colors oh, just went on camera roll and will lost that fish he had a run from um, he struck very early but these days you've got to do that haven't you right will has given me permission to poach his spot
those, those little jacks. So, no big ones. Just lots of these little jacks, but if we put them back in the park to them, hopefully they'll get big. Pop a piece on that, isn't it? Uh, I stopped recording because uh, I was sort of losing the will a bit. But I was just talking to Sam about how bashing these reeds down and making yourself a gap can help you find some fish that you might not otherwise find. I'm over holes. I caught a half decent high pike. Probably not seen a hook all uh, winter. A better fish. I reckon probably about six, maybe seven. Yeah, I'll give you seven. Yeah, probably. Nice clean mouth, no troubles in there. Quite but it does have a gap under the membrane. Thank you.